everybody. My name is Relic, aka Sezanaj, the owner and uh, founder of It's Our Say. And um, it's been 10 years since the It's Our Say channel was created. And I know that I uploaded a little celebratory montage of mine just to kind of commemorate, you know, everything that Say was. I uploaded it here just a couple days ago. But the It's Our Say channel was created in September of 2013. And therefore, in September of 2023, it's been 10 years since this channel was born. Um, you know, and it's gone through a ton, just like any team has from back in the day. Um, but I felt like it was cool to kind of hop on and just chat about it and kind of reminisce a little bit. Because Say really was something special. And I know a lot of people say that about their teams. But if you were a part of Say or you watched Say back in its prime days, you knew that it was something special. We were claimed to be one of the best underrated teams um you know and we had so many incredible members that went on to do fantastic things we had members that were, became lead editors of big teams um even almost joined obey we had one member um go all the way to soar um we had one of the most legendary editors uh, of all time with whip you know um, he's he's always going to be one of my favorite editors of all time, and he was the heart and soul of Say um, through everything. And you know, for those of you who don't know, so uh, like I said, I, my name was Zanaj back in the day. I go by Relic now, but if you know me, my name's Dustin. Um, and uh, the way that Say kind of came about was I had came across a team called Say Legion, um, and they were originally say territory like this is going really far back 2012 early 2013 and i think i joined they had originally had to make the say legion channel because something happened with the first channel i think it got hacked or something and then they got to like 400 subscribers and then the owner i believe his name was say stav um he ended up deciding to basically end the team and i practically begged him not to because everything about the team from the name, the logo, just something about it seemed like it was just incredibly special. And I just didn't want to see that end. And so I practically begged him to just let me take a shot at it. Like, let me take a shot at leading the team and building it. And, you know, and he eventually let me, which I'm forever grateful for. Because, you know, without that happening, I wouldn't have made the friends I've made. And I wouldn't have the memories I have from how special Say was. And, um... You know, I we grew Say Legion up to about 800 subscribers, and then the, that channel got hacked. You know, some stuff happened in the past with previous ownership. Um, it's all cleared up now, but when that all happened, I kind of took matters into my own hands. I got Whip aboard, and I started the It's Our Say channel and never looked back. And, um, you know, to this day, we grew it to what it is. And we originally almost got it to 4,000 subscribers before the team ended, you know. And um, that's pretty incredible for an underrated team with nobody of any name value in the community. We were all just coming from the underground uh, and we created a lot of, you know, or helped boost a lot of people's gaming, you know, quote unquote careers. And that's something I'm super proud of. And not only that, but we also created a really special bond with what we did with Say. And if you were a part of it back in the day, you know, you know, if you were a part of it between 2013 to 20 you know 15 you know that was prime say days those couple years we were you know we were featured on Molichick. you know shout out to dj love for helping us do that we were featured on Molichick, which if you guys remember was a huge community channel back in the day um and a lot of people would love our uploads and a lot of our you know uploads on our channel have you know thousands of views like just as many views as we do subscribers if not more you know and that's pretty cool and to see that we built that from scratch, from, you know, no subscribers to that, and all it was was just passion, hard work. Nobody made a dime. Nobody got paid. It was all just a matter of, you know, working hard for a common goal that we all shared a, a deep passion for. And I'm proud to say that we accomplished a lot. And I just wanted to hop on here and kind of thank everybody for everything that they did, whether you were just a, a spectator or a viewer or supporter or whether you were a part of the team or ever was part of the team or had anything to do with say in general whether it was the original it's our say 
um, the OG, say, territory, say, Legion, anything like that. But the main core, it's our say, is what really became special. And so I wanted to thank everybody who was ever a part of that for making it what it was. You know, I could sit here and list everybody, um, but it would take me forever. <laughs> and there's a few that I really want to shout out, though. First and foremost, obviously, Whip. He was the heart and soul. You know, he was an incredible editor. He is my favorite editor of all time, personally. You know, my favorite montage of all time is the Say Christmas Team Taj. And if you haven't seen that, check it out. It's just something about that, you know. it's You could tell it's definitely classic. It's old school, but just it was such an upbeat feel to everything. And that's what that team was. It just, it was fun. It was upbeat. Everybody had a good time. And you could really tell in our uploads, you know. And, of course, like I mentioned before, DJ Love, he did a lot behind the scenes for us to help get us on Malachik and help get our videos out and promoted because none of us had any idea what we were doing and you know um, I also wanted to shout out a good friend of mine to this day 87 uh, he had joined originally as say collect back in the PS3 days changed his name to 87 but uh, he's been a great friend of mine and um, you know through the ups and downs he's always been there to help out and support and he even took over at one point with uh, Wu and Torek, and I wanted to thank those guys for what they did when they were running at Cersei, um before everything you know truly came to an end and uh, I couldn't have done it with without anybody you know it was a team effort for everything and I know back in the day you know I I, uh, I, I wish I could have done things differently to maybe continue say longer than it did but you know, everything's happened the way it did. Everything happens for a reason, and I've definitely grown from it. And I just want to say thank you to everybody who was ever part of it. You know, from all the players to all the editors, designers, all the people who went for the RCs for a team that, you know, couldn't promise you anything more than, you know, some people to play with. <laughs> um, but it's just crazy to think that uh, it's been 10 years. You know, I started this channel when I was. 14 15 years old and i'm uh or 15 16 years old somewhere in there 14 to 16 and uh i'm about to turn 26 next year i'm about to have a beautiful baby girl next year and it's just crazy to see you know the growth and it's also really cool to see that the community seems to be kind of revived you know with uh the release of the new modern warfare 3 which i've thoroughly enjoyed um outside of the sbmm but you know the clip potential and the community and everything has been really awesome so far so it's awesome to see and you know it's kind of revived my interest a little bit and uh you know maybe by putting out this video i can get in contact with some of the old say members and we can hop on and play some games again someday but i just wanted to hop on here and thank you all for everything for you know since uh day one to 10 years later i wanted to thank you guys for creating something special with us and making say what it was um but yeah, that's about it, guys. So this has been Relic, a.k.a. Cezanage, and uh, I will chat with you all again soon. Thank you again for everything. It, it means the world.